Hey, and welcome to another episode of Hashtag Ask Simplest. My name is Todd Carey. Um, I've been with Salesforce off and on for about five years. I've uh, been doing consulting with Oracle and Deloitte and some other large firms in the contact center and service space for about 18 years now. So the question posed that I'm answering today is what happens with a lead in Salesforce? Leads can come from a million different avenues and let's picture it coming in as a funnel starting real wide and then we'll get down into the life cycle of it. So ultimately when a lead comes in, uh, it could come from a million different sources. So let's say we've got a campaign out there that's um, marketing people with emails and we've got some of our sales reps that are going to trade shows. Uh, we've got the contact us section on our web page and we've got some paid ads that are coming in. So whether it be an integration to an outside application um, like Pardot or Marketo or um, down to a sales rep actually entering in a lead that they got um, via any other source. The lead is entered into Salesforce and set as an initial status. Uh, the anticipation at that point is that we're just qualifying that lead and hoping to turn them into what Salesforce references as an opportunity. And then that opportunity hopefully will be an account, uh, potentially a contact, and then the opportunity will be worked until a close. So once you're working with a lead, there are several statuses that you'll change it to. So initially it could be something like a potential or prospecting. Uh, then we work our way down to where it's a qualified lead and we're working with that lead. Once it's been a qualified lead, the sales rep will click the convert button on the lead page. Once an opportunity is created through that conversion, you have the option to create an account, a contact, and potentially create tasks for follow-ups to have owners within the system follow through. Some people will have business development sales reps that then hand it off to an account executive once it's an opportunity. So that qualification stage can have that delineation point in between the two. Once a lead is converted to an opportunity, that lead record becomes read-only. So you can still look at who was the owner, what the details were, and what was done, but only open activities assigned to an owner will still be active to be worked. Otherwise, the lead is considered closed and ready to work as an opportunity. The opportunity stages can be created to work it as appropriate for your business. So you can trigger things as you go through stages of the opportunity to create activities, update fields, send out emails that say, hey, thank you for your interest, we're working on it, please contact me here, and so forth. As you get further down the stage, you'll change the probability so that your pipeline and your forecasting start to be reflected in the reports and dashboards across the board for other people to look at. So you may start with a 10% chance, and then you get to best case, you get to commit, and then eventually, hopefully, you close it with, open, uh, with closed one status. If your opportunity were to be lost, you could make it closed lost and put it back into recycled leads so it can become part of a nurturing campaign where you try to bring them back. So there are sections where people will put in comments or notes to comment on what happened to close that lead one way or another so that in the future when people look at it, they're able to track the status of what happened. So that's a little bit about leads and turning into opportunities, accounts, and contacts. And it's, it's good to remember that in Salesforce, the standard form of it is to take a lead from a very broad range, narrow it down as you get into an opportunity, and that opportunity becomes an account and a contact. So that's a quick pass over what we do with leads in Salesforce. If you have other questions, please reach out to us at hashtag AskSimplest. Um, you could tweet us at SimplestNow, and we look forward to answering more questions. Thanks for joining.